Hey everybody, Cobra DVS, and um, time for another pickups video. Um, this one's in a little different location, but it's just for lighting purposes because I'm actually filming this one at night. So um, I don't have the pleasure of natural light. So uh, Plus my phone, which is what I use for my camera actually, is very touchy with light. So I'm just hoping that this works out great. So kind of got a lot of stuff to go through really. Um, a lot of cool stuff that I'm um, extremely excited about. So, I guess I'll just go ahead and start in with what I got first, and even that I don't really know much about. I'm just trying to organize this as much as I, as best I can. That's all right. That's all right. So is that, and so is this. Okay. All right. So the first thing I got is um, a Goodwill pickup. Nothing too crazy, but it's kind of something cool. It's a Sonic Sonic comic book that um I, I think it was like fifty cents or something. So. Yeah, for 50 cents, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll pick up a comic book. This is book one. I, I guess there are two, at least. So, that's pretty cool. Um, another Goodwill pickup, which is video game related, but not a video game itself, is actually something really cool. I um, I remember renting this at the video store. It's uh, Donkey Kong Country, The Legend of the Crystal Coconut. You know, it's... it's I, I haven't watched it since um, getting it at Blockbuster so long ago, but, you know, it from what I remember, it, it was entertaining. Um, okay, just a simple pickup, um, a game I've heard some pretty good things about, underrated game, when you talk about the NES, and um, I, my local place had it for $3, so I thought I'd give it a chance, it's Shatterhand. Um, I thought this was, it's a pretty good game, I, I haven't, um, haven't gotten too much into it, but I have played the first couple levels, it's a little challenging to get used to, um, but, but it is a fun game. Alright, so, <clears throat> let's see. I'll go with, I'll set that aside, some Saturn stuff. Um, let's see, should I go with the, no, I'll just go with this. I did another trade with Tony's Xbox. Um, again, check out Tony's, Tony's, Tony's channel if you haven't already. Um, we did a trade, I traded him some stuff for three Saturn games. Um, two of which are, they were sports titles and I've, I've, um, I've put them away and um because we're moving so all my stuff is put away i put it with that but the one that um that i wanted to play was black fire for the saturn completed box great shape um and that was other than the other two games that's what i got from tony uh this next one was an ebay purchase um this is a game i thought looked um interesting to say the least it's hexen on the saturn um your first person shooter I've played it now. The eBay seller for this was an amateur, I guess is the best way to put it. She listed it as good. I asked if the game had any cracks, broken hinges, anything. She told me no. When I got it, it had both the hinges were broken. Uh, the case was kind of dirty, and somebody had written their name on the disc. You know, I don't leave negative feedback unless they really, really screw me over, and I've never left negative feedback. So I, I, you know, I left her positive. But I didn't really compliment her. So, I mean, just tell the truth, for Christ's sake. I mean, it was like $4. And she shipped it media mail. There was a stamp on it that said, media mail subject to inspection. Apparently, they didn't inspect it because it was a um, most definitely not a media mail worthy. So, next, a um, couple of really cool, really cool Saturn games. These are two that I'm so happy to have. Um, this one I actually paid $15 for which is a lot less than what it normally goes for. It's Panzer Dragoon 2. You know, I try and zwee, zwee, whatever, how you say that. Um, but I got this for 15. Um, that's pretty good. I've, I've been looking online for um, what they go for, and it's usually around 25 to 30, um, maybe a little less or a little more, but I was had no problem paying 15. And I've played a little bit of it. It's a very interesting game, to say the least. So um, that's one I'm really happy to have. Now, this is the one... This one has a story behind it. First off, I'll go ahead and show what it is. Uh, kind of an uncommon, pretty rare game. It's Mega Man X4. Complete. So I was going through eBay, and I saw, you know, that there was two Mega Man games. Mega Man 8 and this Mega Man X4 for the Saturn. Oh, there's Mega Man X3, but it was only in Japan, I believe. So um, I went through this and saw it was, like, going for a pretty penny online. And so I went to the completed listings and saw that one was listed for 30 starting bid and a buy it now for 35 and nobody bought it so i, I was i was kind of thrown by uh by the whole thrown by the whole thing so i messaged the guy said hey would you take 30 for it 
Um, he said, yeah, no problem. So, um, so yeah, I got it. And um, here's where the story comes in. Saturn games, their cases are just like Sega CD cases. So sometimes, in the rare occasion, they come loose in the disc. Or loose, the disc becomes loose in the case. Well, to prevent this, he put a piece of tape on the top of the disc and the bottom of the disc and taped them to the case to hold them, hold them in place. Okay, so I removed the top piece of tape. But when I remove the bottom piece of the tape, the damn near unthinkable happened. Under the Sega logo, notice it's missing the label. Not only is it missing the label, it's missing the most important part of the freaking the disc. The part on the back. Oh, the part on the back that the um that the lens reads. This disc is now it can't be used. Um, I've tried it. I, I can get to track three of the soundtrack, and it skips. I messaged the seller, and he said, you know, he was sorry. He just thought it was going to help it out, and um, he, he said I can have a full refund and keep it. So it worked out in the end. So now I'm after a disc-only copy or a very cheap, complete copy, whatever I can get, for Mega Man F X4. So if somebody has it, please just help me out. I, I really want to play this game. I was really looking forward to playing this. But on a better note, my Saturn collection is kind of taken off. I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I got. And this is actually another Saturn game, another first-person shooter that I've spent quite a bit of time playing. It's Duke Nukem 3D. You can see here I paid $9.99 for it, which is another great price in my mind compared to what it usually goes for. So um, this is a pretty good port of the game. It, it's not the best. Um, but it's certainly probably not the worst. Um, if you have a Saturn and, you know, you like Duke Nukem, I'd say give it a shot. It does have an exclusive Saturn level, which is like the fifth or sixth level. And I haven't gotten to it yet um, because this is pretty tough, a pretty tough version of the game. So, um, you know, I, I'd recommend it, I guess, if you're a Saturn fan or a Duke Nukem fan. But other than that, there's definitely other versions of the game that I'd, uh, I'd play before this. Okay, um... I want to save this for last, and um, I want to save this game for last. Well, I, I, I shouldn't. Never mind. Okay, so I went to this game store in the town over. Um, there's actually two of the same... It's owned by the same guy. Game On is what it's called. In the same... Um, kind of in the same town, basically. Um, well, I went to the one I normally don't go to and walked out a very happy person. Um, I picked up three things. It was buy two, get one free. So I got Spider-Man for the Genesis... Complete in box. This is what I've been after for a while. So I'm pretty pretty happy to get this one. Um, this one is pretty cool too. I, I saw it online and when I saw it here and it was complete in box, you know, there was no way I was walking out without it. It was Cartoon Workshop, Tiny Toon Adventures. It's kind of like you make your own scenes. Um, I, 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 I played it for like two minutes, um, but you really need the manual out to, to guide you through, so I didn't get too far. And this last one is... On the, f on the cusp of rare slash uncommon for the NES, and it's normally like a $30 game for the cartridge. Um, in fact, the cheapest I found on eBay was, I think, like $30 or $35. There There's one on Amazon for like $20 or something, but, um, and this place looks up their prices on, I, my friend saw it, he saw them on Half.com, and if that's the case, I don't know why they charge me so low. Um, but it, the game is Mighty, fi oh, Mighty Final Fight for the NES, he charged me only nine ninety seven, uh, ten dollars, and um, I got this was like three dollars. So for like thirteen dollars, and then this was free. So buy two get one free. So for like thirteen bucks, I got all this, and that was great. Um, Mighty Final Fight, yeah, it's a pretty rare game. I don't know why it was only ten dollars, you know, especially because they have the liberty of looking them up online. And a quick story um, about this game. I was all their games are like. Like, so they, here's the, well, it's going to be hard to explain, but the, the games are, like, to the side of the counter, on the wall, kind of like, I don't know, they're on a shelf, and they're all supporting each other. So, you take one game out, and I was looking at it, and you put it back in. It worked fine. Well, I was looking at the games, and the, the guy who was working at the shop was on the phone, and I get, you know, I'm just looking at these games, and all of a sudden he comes over and starts tapping on this piece of paper on the games. It says, if you want to look at the games, get a store associate to, you know, assist you or whatever. And it, it's like, you know, I see what they're doing, but, you know, come on. I'm not going to steal this, you know. Um, it, it was just kind of a dick move, and he was nice from then on out, I guess, but it's just, it was awkward. 
Um, I don't know, and then he sold me that for 10 bucks, so I can't complain. Okay, so two more places. One was from yesterday, one's from today. All right, went to Disc Replay, um, which is in Flint, Michigan, again. Um, and for my last video, somebody suggested I go to Jelly Beans in Flint, and um, I did go to Jelly Beans. They have a bunch of records and movies, but I went to the wrong one. They don't sell video games at this one, so I have to go to the other one. So anyway, I got four things at this store. Um, I forget what it cost. I think it was around $20, but the first game is an Xbox game that will not play on my Xbox because it's not 100% backwards compatible, which is really stupid, but it's Tron 2.0 Killer App. You know, I... I've seen a little gameplay on this on the, of this online. It's a first-person shooter, and it looks like a pretty fun game. Um, from what I hear, it was really overshadowed because Halo 2 was released like the week after, so it, it kind of got screwed in that respect. But hey, I'm a, I'm a fan of Tron, so I'm, uh, I'm willing to give it a shot if I can ever play it, that is. Alright, and then I got one, two, three NES games. We'll start off with the more insignificant ones. These ones were $1.99 each. Godzilla and 3D World Runner. And the last one that I got, I have, by the way, I, I have not played these, so I, I can't comment. I've played this before, but I haven't played this, so Th this isn't very, it's not very good. Godzilla 2 is actually pretty rare, though. So if you ever see Godzilla 2 out there, get it. And then this one moves me one step closer to having all the games in the series, and it's Mega Man 4. I'm now only missing 1 and 5, which are oddly the most expensive of the whole group. So, um, you know, I've still got quite a few bucks to pay to get them all, but... That's okay. I'm, I'm pretty close to beating them. Okay, so to try and end this video quickly, um, went to this place today that was just a mess. Like, the whole store. They had so much stuff, and it was just a mess. And so we, my friend and I start going there, start going through all the stuff, and there's this wall. Like, well, it's a shelf, I guess, just full of video games, like newer stuff. You didn't see a lot of old games, and it was so unorganized, so you had to do a lot of digging. Um, just a couple of the things that were there. There's a Saturn, a Dreamcast an Atari 7800, there's an NES, a bunch of Genesis systems, a Genesis Sega CD combo for 150 bucks. I don't know where they got that from. Um, but nothing really in the way of that I really wanted to get. Plus, their prices were so screwed. It was really weird. But I did find something pretty cool um, for a dollar. Um, I don't know. I guess they didn't look this one up, but it was only a dollar. And it's a boxed, even though I hardly consider it boxed because the box is in very bad shape, Donkey Kong Jr. for the Intellivision. Now, the cartridge is, like, brand new. It looks like it's never been played. And Donkey Kong Jr. for the Intellivision is a pretty, kind of an uncommon game. Um, I checked, and there's only one on eBay right now for 15 bucks. So, you know, I'll pay a dollar for that, no problem. Plus, I've had, I had this before and got rid of it. I gave it to a Intellivision dude, I believe. So, I'm 100% I'm happy with that. Now, this last thing is actually pretty cool. Now, not only do I collect, you know, video game stuff, but also um, anything related to the video games. And... Um, a long time ago, I got this shelf for uh, Sega Genesis games that would hold loose cards. Well, I saw this today that holds boxed games. Now, it only holds 12, but I thought, you know, it'd be a cool idea to put, you know, like 12 of my more uncommon or rare Genesis games in there, or just some that I like to play. So, um, here it is. Let's see if I can get this in the camera. Here it is. These games didn't come with it. I've put these in here. These are some of my more, you know, uncommon collectibles. You know, you got your... Hyperstone Heist, Bladder Houses, Streets of Rage 3, you know, down here, Moonwalker, Mutely Cocky, Contra, you know, Ghostbusters, and all, you know, just some of my more rare stuff. And um, it's meant to be hung on the wall. It does have two prongs, so you can hang it on the wall, so that's what I fully intend to do. But here's something weird. Let me just take out this middle rack so I can show you. I don't, I don't know how well it'll show up on the camera, but do you see these ridges here? These hold discs, like Dreamcast games or PlayStation games, and that really made zero sense to me. I don't know why it is like that. I really have no idea why they would make it so it holds CDs. I, I, I don't know. I mean, Sega CD games are most definitely not this shape, well, aside from a few of the pack-in ones, but I don't understand it. So um, when I found that there were a couple Genesis games in it, I didn't get them. They were just cheapos, so... I thought, oh, they were, and they were sitting in it like this, so I thought, well, that's pretty cool. I'll just do it like that. So um, that's something else that's pretty unique. I've never seen one before, and it says Sega Genesis up at the top. Um, so it is, you know, official, I guess, if you will. So, um, so yeah, that was a pretty cool find. And it was $2, and um, 
So two, you know, three bucks, and I got all that. So I, you know, no complaints from me. So that's it for me, guys. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you like everything, and you know, comment, like, you know, do all that crap. So, um, and until next time, time, guys, take care. Really, um, a lot of cool stuff that I'm um, extremely excited about. So. I guess I'll just go ahead and start in with what I got first, and even that I don't really know much about. I'm just trying to organize this as much as I, as best I can. That's all right. That's all right. So is that, and so is this. Okay. All right. So the first thing I got is um, a Goodwill pickup. Nothing too crazy, but it's kind of something cool. It's a Sonic Sonic comic book that um I, I think it was like 50 cents or something. So. Tony's Xbox. Um, again, check out Tony's, Tony's, Tony's channel if you haven't already. Um, we did a trade. I traded him some stuff for three Saturn games, um, two of which are they were sports titles, and I've I've um, I've put them away, and because um, we're moving, so all my stuff is put away. I put it with that. But the one that um that I wanted to play was Black Fire, for the Saturn, completed box, great shape. And that was, other than the other two games, that's what I got from Tony. Uh, this next one was an eBay purchase. Hey everybody, Cobra DVS, and um, time for another pickups video. Um, this one's in a little different location, but it's just for lighting purposes because I'm actually filming this one at night. So um, I don't have the pleasure of natural light, so... Uh, plus my phone, which is what I use for my camera, actually, is very touchy with light, so I'm just hoping that this works out great. So, kind of got a lot of stuff to go through. It's about underrated game when you talk about the NES, and um, I my local place had it for three dollars, so I thought I'd give it a chance. It's Shattered Hand. Um, I thought this was it's a pretty good game. I, I haven't um, haven't gotten too much into it, but I have played the first couple levels. It's a little challenging to get used to, um, but it, but it is a fun game. All right, so <clears throat> let's see. I'll go with. I'll set that aside. Some Saturn stuff. Um, let's see. Should I go with the internet? No, I'll just go with this. I did another trade with Tony yeah, for fifty cents. I'll, I'll you know I'll pick up a comic book. This is book one. I, I guess there are two, at least. So that's pretty cool. Um, another Goodwill pickup, which is video game related, but not a video game itself, is actually something really cool. I um. I remember renting this at the video store. It's uh, Donkey Kong Country, The Legend of the Crystal Coconut. You know, it's... it's. I, I haven't watched it since um, getting it at Blockbuster so long ago, but, you know, it. from what I remember, it, it was entertaining. Um, okay, just a simple pickup. Um, a game I've heard some pretty good things about.